Purple rain, purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain. Hey guys, I'm David Cordero and welcome back to another Pass the Guitar live song tutorial. And if you like this video and all the content we bring to you in this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And today we're going to cover the classic Purple Rain by Prince. So with no further ado, let's dive right in. Well, First thing we always do is go over the chords that we're going to be using on the song. So for this song, we're only going to be needing four chords and they are G major, E minor, D major, and last but not least, C major. And one note, if you guys want to actually play in the key that Prince plays, you're going to have to use the capo on the third fret. But for this video, I am not going to be using the capo because I want everyone watching to be able to play, even the people that actually don't own a capo. But by all means, if you want to play along with Prince, go ahead and get yourself a capo and you're going to be all set. All right. Now that we know our chords, let's go straight into our basic strumming pattern. And I always say this, this is a starting point. By no means, this is the only strumming pattern you can use. So learn this one, use your own. This is just a basic, so you can use this one for this whole song, all right? So as you can see, I'm gonna play this rhythm. It's a one bar phrase and so you get a little sense of how it's supposed to sound. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, E, and a three, and four. One, two, E, and a three, and four. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. I'm gonna put the chords in so we get a little sense of how they are actually going to sound with the chords. So I'm just for the sake of the practice, just gonna use G major. Here we go. One, two, E, and a three, and four. One, two, E, and a three, and four. One, two, E, and a three, and four. All right, now we know the chords we're gonna use and a strumming pattern for this song. So let's go over to the form and learn how to play each part of this song. We're gonna start with the verse. And with the verse, we'll begin with a full measure of G major, followed by a full measure of E minor, followed by a full measure of D major, and ending on the full measure of C major. After that, we head back to G major again for a full measure, followed by a measure of E minor, and then we head to a full measure of D major, followed by two extra beats of D major, and ending on a hit and break on G major. All right, now that we know the progression we're gonna be playing, let's apply that strumming pattern and see how it's actually gonna sound. One, two, E, and a three, and four. One, two, E, and a three, and four. One, two, E, and a three, and four. Go into D, one, Two E and a three and 
four and C, two E and a three and four, back to G, two E and a three and four, going to E minor, two E and a three and four, and then D major, two E and a three and four, two extra beats of D, two, and hitting that G right at the end of the verse. And that's gonna lead us into the chorus. So now that we know the verse, let's go over the chords and the progression of the chorus. So we just left the verse hitting that G. The first two measures of the chorus, we're gonna be playing C major. So two full measures of C major, followed by a full measure of G major, and then a full measure of E minor. After that, we're gonna head into this long prolonged D major. It's gonna be three full measures of D major plus two extra beats, and then we do a hit on G major again, just like the verse. So one full measure of D, a second full measure of D, a third full measure of D, two extra beats, and then we hit that G major, just like in the verse. So just like we did in the verse, let's plug in that strumming pattern and see how this chorus sounds with our strumming pattern. One, two, E, and a three, and four, starting with C. One, two, E, and a three, and four, another C. One, two, E, and a three, and four, four and then a measure of G, two E and a three and four, followed by a measure of E minor, three and four, and now our long Ds, two E and a three and four, second measure of D, two E and a three and four, third measure of D, two E and a three and four, two extra beats, two and and then we hit that G major, and that's what's gonna lead us into another verse. Or, when we finish the third verse, it's gonna lead us into the solo slash outro, which takes us to now this last part of the song. I didn't cover the intro yet, but because the intro, outro, and solos are the same progression. And as, as you can see, this is a four bar phrase which means that we have four measures and those four measures keep repeating over and over. So for the outro, solo and intro, we're gonna do a full measure of G, followed by a full measure of E minor, followed by a full measure of D major, followed by a full measure of C major. All right, let's put that strumming into practice. Here we go. One, two, E, and a three, and four. One, two, E, and a three, and four. One, two, E, and a three, and four. D major. Two, E, and a three, and four. C major. Two, E, and a three, and we repeat everything again. That's a wrap guys, but hey, if you want to dive deeper into this song and for so much more, join us over at PassTheGuitar.live. For more information about our community, you can click on this video or head over to our website, which is PassTheGuitar.live. And until next time, I am David Cordero and this has been Pass The Guitar Live. Oh!